What's going on guys? Welcome to JerseyBeast.tv. My name is Chris Lopez, the Jersey Beast, and today we're going to be talking about uh, the importance of super slow reps when trying to develop muscle mass. Now, we tend to forget sometimes that developing muscle mass isn't just about moving weights. It's not just about lifting. It's not just about pushing as much weight as you possibly can. It's more about muscle fiber recruitment. While strength training is about um, moving as much weight as possible, you know, and really revving up that nervous system and getting it accustomed to moving heavy weight, when you're looking to develop the most amount of mass possible in the shortest amount of time, you have to look more into muscle fiber recruitment. So you don't necessarily have to go as heavy, but you want to hit all those muscle fibers as hard as you can. You really need to tax them, and that's where these super, super slow reps come in. Um, this is kind of a form of high intensity training. For those of you who know my training style, I do love high intensity training for myself, and I do implement it here at the pit for my clients. For those of you who don't know what it is, Google it, or we'll just go over it right now. Uh, HIT is a form of training that is at maximum intensity, meaning to uh, to muscular failure on each set. Um, the way I break it up here is usually every other workout will go to muscular failure uh, for those workouts. This way you're not really crushing your body day in and day out. You still need time to recover. But the idea is that you go as slow as possible. Um, so some, some days, some guys will do, not in here, but you read books on HIT, and you see some guys doing like, like crazy like 15 second sets. All right, 50, I mean, sorry, 15 second reps. 15 second reps, 15 second individual reps. I knew that first part didn't sound right. <laughs> not that impressive. 15 individual reps, 15 second reps, right? So. You take, you know, seven seconds on the way up, seven seconds on the way down. Um, some guys do 10 on the way up, 10 on the way down, that's a 20 second rep. That, and you know, obviously the weight isn't gonna be very heavy, but you are recruiting the maximum amount of muscle fibers. And when you do that, you provide your body uh, with the opportunity to uh, recover those muscle fibers and increase the muscular density which is going to increase muscular size and not have you look so sloppy. So here's a look at today's session that I did with one of the guys here named Joe. If you look up at the top, we got walking lunges, barbell deads, ring push-ups, TRX rows, incline dumbbell bench, pull-ups, TRX face pulls, uh, dumbbell or kettlebell overhead presses, and then a TRX complex for core at the end. Uh, the only one that's really high reps is the deads. We did for 20. We slowed them down a little bit, lightened the weight, and um, we didn't really exactly do three up, three down, but we did them slower than normal because deadlifts are kind of a, a, a movement that you can't really sit in this particular spot for too long without uh, putting unnecessary strain on certain parts of your body so um, but everything else we did pretty slow and oh let me look back real quick the top exercise is a pre-exhaust usually and then a heavy lift pre-exhaust pre-exhaust body weight right and then a heavier lift dumbbell bench and pull-ups face pulls a pre-exhaust for shoulders and then overhead presses a heavier lift dumbbell or kettlebell presses and then your core. So the idea of the pre-exhaust is do super slow reps, pre-exhaust your muscles, and then when you hit that heavy lift, that they get really taxed. So all you really need is one working set. Um, again, it's a total body workout, you can see that. And by doing total body and doing compound movements throughout the workout, you're really burning more calories. Um, it's gonna rev up your metabolism. And uh, you know, it's better for overall athleticism instead of splitting workouts up. So, Give super slow reps a shot. You won't regret it, especially if you're looking to build muscle and stay lean. Um, it's definitely a lifesaver when it comes to doing that. You don't really have to increase your calories too much more. It's not like you have to pig out to bulk up. If you take a few weeks and you do total body workouts, high intensity style, super slow reps, it's gonna be a change of pace because it's gonna, it's gonna fuck with your ego a little bit. You're not gonna be pushing as much weight, but 
You'll get over it pretty quickly when you see the muscle gains that you get and the muscle density. All right, guys, just make sure real quick that you hit a full contraction at the top. So if you're doing curls, right, you're doing your curl, full contraction at the top, and then nice and slow on the way down, okay? Smooth transitions between the positive and negative parts of the movement, and you should be golden. All right, guys, give it a shot. Let me hear what you think. I'm interested to see your comments. Peace.